you're driving down the road, press the gas pedal, and suddenly the engine screams like it's in a race, but the car doesn't pick up speed the way it should. That's what we call over revving. It feels like the engine is working too hard without giving you the power you expect. If you've noticed this happening, don't ignore it. Let's break down why it happens, what it means for your car, and how you can fix it without getting overwhelmed. But just before we start, please ensure you've subscribed to the channel. What does over revving mean? Over revving happens when your engine RPMs, revolutions per minute, climb higher than normal for the amount of speed you're getting. In simple terms, your engine is spinning fast, but your wheels aren't keeping up. In a healthy car, when you step on the gas, the engine RPM rises and the car accelerates smoothly. If your engine revs high but your car crawls, it's like a cyclist pedaling hard with the chain slipping. It's working hard but going nowhere fast. This is a classic sign that something is wrong with how your engine power is reaching the wheels. It could be the transmission, clutch, or even a simple problem like low transmission fluid. Common reasons your car over revs. If your car is over revving when accelerating, a few usual suspects are to blame. The first and most common reason is a problem with your transmission or clutch. In an automatic car, a worn or failing transmission can cause the engine to rev without the car gaining speed because the gears are slipping. In a manual car, this happens when the clutch is slipping. The engine spins, but the power doesn't make it to the wheels properly. Another common reason is low or dirty transmission fluid. Transmission fluid is like the lifeblood for automatic gearboxes. It not only keeps things moving smoothly, but also allows the transmission to create pressure for shifting gears. If it's low, old, or burned, your transmission can slip and cause high revs with poor acceleration. A failing torque converter in an automatic transmission can also lead to over revving. This part acts like a bridge between your engine and the transmission. When it starts to fail, the engine will rev up, but you'll feel sluggish takeoffs and sometimes shuddering. Sometimes, the issue can be engine-related. A clogged air filter, dirty fuel injectors, or a faulty mass airflow sensor can cause the engine to behave oddly under load. The car might rev up because the engine computer is struggling to adjust the fuel and air mixture properly. Lastly, driving habits or load conditions can play a part. If you're towing heavy weight or climbing steep hills, your car might rev higher than usual to keep up. But if it's happening on flat roads with no extra load, you likely have a mechanical issue to address. How to diagnose the problem. When your car starts over revving, the first step is to pay attention to when and how it happens. This will give you a big clue as to what's wrong. If you have a manual transmission and the RPM spike every time you accelerate hard, especially in higher gears, your clutch is probably slipping. A quick driveway test is to put the car in a higher gear at low speed and press the gas. If the engine revs up but the car barely moves, the clutch is worn out. If you have an automatic transmission, watch for when the over revving happens. Does it only happen during shifts? Does the car feel like it's sliding between gears? That's often a sign of slipping transmission bands or a bad torque converter. Pop the hood and check the transmission fluid if your car has a dipstick for it. Healthy fluid is usually red or pink and smells clean. If it's dark, smells burnt, or is low, that's a clear red flag. Another helpful step is to scan for error codes with an OBD2 scanner. Modern cars will often store codes if the transmission or engine sensors detect slipping. Even a cheap scanner can give you an idea of whether it's a transmission or engine problem. How to fix over revving issues. Fixing over revving depends on what's causing it, but here's the general approach that works for most drivers. If it's a clutch issue in a manual car, there's no shortcut. You'll need a clutch replacement. It's a wear and tear item, and once it starts slipping, it won't heal itself. Catching it early can save your flywheel from damage, which keeps the repair cheaper. If you drive an automatic and the fluid is low, topping it up with the correct type of fluid might fix mild slipping. If it's old or dirty, a full fluid and filter change is the next step. But be careful. If your transmission has severe internal wear, new fluid won't save it and can even make slipping more noticeable because it's thinner than the old dirty fluid. For a failing torque converter or internal transmission wear, you'll need a professional mechanic. These repairs often mean a transmission rebuild or replacement. 
While that sounds scary, catching the issue early can sometimes mean just a torque converter swap instead of a full transmission job. If your engine is the culprit, such as clogged injectors or a dirty air filter, fixing it can be as simple as replacing the air filter, cleaning the throttle body, or using a fuel system cleaner. In some cases, a mechanic can perform a professional injector cleaning to restore proper power. Can you keep driving? Over-revving isn't just annoying, it's dangerous for your wallet. Driving for too long with a slipping clutch or transmission can cause heat buildup and internal damage. In a manual car, you could destroy the flywheel. In an automatic, you could burn out the transmission entirely. If your car only revs a little higher than normal under heavy load, you can limp it to a mechanic. But if it's slipping badly or revving high without much speed, it's best to park it and fix the issue before it leaves you stranded or with a massive repair bill.